Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to build this. This is sort of a megaphone MP3 kind of cool player that uh, I 3D printed from Thingiverse. So uh, you can kind of see it up over there. So I tell you what, I've got all the parts laid out. So let's go ahead, talk about it first, and then let's go and let's build this thing and see how it works. So let's go. So when we take a look at the 3D printed files for this, we have the megaphone, which is very interesting and it's kind of cool. I'll put some time lapses up there uh, of some of the stuff printing, but this really turned out nice. I printed this on the tarantula, no supports, printed out uh, nice, I think it took a couple hours to print, um, as well as the back. So in short, what happens is this piece mounts on here. And then what we have is we have this foot brace that uh, mounts, and then we have the electronics, and then a box. Now, don't get all weirded out. I'll have the links below. You can get the, both the um, the speaker, the full range speaker, and I'll talk about that in a second, as well as the electronics off of eBay for I think under ten bucks. I paid for these things, so I'll have the links down below. Um, the hardest thing was actually printing these little button pieces that actually go inside of uh, here. I'll talk about that in a second. So um, now I've already soldered, uh, soldered up some wire onto the speaker and I'm going to go ahead and start some of the assembly. But one of the pieces that I did want to mention is again these were a little bit hard to print. I printed these on the Model Price Mini and what they do is they slide into here and the fat side goes to the back and they're a little bit hard to push and that, that's sort of okay. Now I cleaned these up as best as I could and they're still not perfect. Uh, one of the things now I printed this model at um, a 0.3 layer height. Now I think for most of the pieces it was okay. I think for this it was okay and this. This particular piece I would probably go 0.2 uh, as well as the control box because it has some some lock and nubbins here that really didn't form as well as I think they should have. Um, and maybe if I had to use supports on the outside, it would have came out a little bit better. It, it should still work. I would really suggest, instead of use, using this, um, if I were to remix it, and maybe I will, is, is to use bolts in here or some self-tapping screws. I think it would come out better. However, these, uh, these fit in here, and I want to go ahead and fit these in and kind of uh, talk about this a little bit as I fit these. So I try cleaning these up again, as I mentioned, as best as possible. They are still a tight fit. I want to leave it that way because it's going to be easier to assemble. And then basically what happens is the electronics here goes into here and this bolts onto here. And uh, so we'll talk about those pieces. Now this piece, I printed it. Uh, it, it didn't count, come out the best. You can kind of see the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and use it for this video. Um, uh, because it kind of wraps itself up and I printed it with supports and I'm thinking I probably should not have printed it with supports that there's enough of a taper that it maybe could have printed without supports I don't know uh, wasn't clear uh, I would give it a shot I think again without supports and see how it came out just for grins and giggles because I think it'd do better because this is the worst piece everything else I think came out relatively good now I'm going to use some number three uh, nuts and bolts to assemble all this and again this is pretty basic so you have the amplifier uh, which takes power from a USB uh, and then also has um, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the name micro SD card that slides in here so in short we take the S micro SD card with our music we slide it in here it locks in there and boom it's good to go so uh, that's all niceness and so this uh, actually gets assembled into this box like this. It just pretty much sits in there. And then we have access so we can uh, power it by a USB port. Our speakers plug in here. Uh, now what I'm going to do is um, talk a little bit about how the speaker sets in. Now you might have the urge to clean up this um, uh, speaker housing don't because what happens is this actually has a little bit of uh, excess plastic there uh, don't because what happens is the the inner ridge of this actually sits very nicely in here you don't want the whole speaker to sit in there uh, only this this ridge because then what happens is you notice you have this opening for the wire to go out of and so well, don't want to do that probably be easier to set the speaker in here close up the wire a little bit and then um, have it poke out sort of something like this and have to 
have to jury rig this around a little bit to get that to set but but that's how you want it to go and then you want to attach it um, so it goes on here and then what we're going to do is use a couple um, number three uh, nuts and bolts so you can see the nut opening in here the bolts going from the back side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bolt this piece together I'm going to do this as a bit of a time lapse so you don't have to watch through the whole thing and we'll be back okay so we're back we have the horn section assembled and here we go and so uh, came out real good now the um, I'm using number three you could probably go with number four the because the, the the nut holes are a little bit large but I, I just got a ton of number threes so or m threes and so I just decided to use m threes and they work work fine so holds it in there just a kind of a build note and I'm using um, uh, these are number three tens, so 10 millimeters long and just the regular bolt. So anyway, so that, that piece is together. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I've got to attach. This board actually gets attached to the back here. And it's gonna, I'm going to use some small self-tapping screws because this, this actually fits in rather snug. So it's going to be a little bit of a chore to get this back out. So let me go ahead and... Uh, get that mounted back in there because it kind of snaps in there we go we get it out but you kind of want to because this is you kind of want to um, note how the top is going to go because these are so we want the top to go this way so let's go ahead I'm going to go get some um, small screws and, and tap those in Okay, so I've got these bolted in, or screwed in, so I just used some like uh, small number two self-tapping screws I had laying around. And then what I'm going to do is I've wired the, this in, so it's pretty straightforward. You just clamp it down, screw it down, and then I'm going to set this board in here. Now, basically, this is now complete. So what we need to do is now simply um, insert this piece over the button. So you can see the four, four buttons we have here. And what actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip this wire. I got to think about how I want that wire to go, but I guess I don't have to do that now. So uh, now these technically are supposed to clip on here. I think they'll be fine. There's enough. I've kind of cleaned them up. Um, but the one thing, and this is why I kind of recommend the 0.2 layer height on this, is I think these would have formed better at 0.2 because of their small size. And then also would have given me more layers on these guys because these guys are pretty fragile. I had to touch this one up with a little bit of glue already on the inside because it was coming loose. So uh, I think I can turn this like this because these fit in here tight enough um, to go on here. And again, I don't know how this is going to go because this is going to press out a little bit. Um, because again, see, you want it to pop over top of these guys. And uh, we'll push this on here, sort of like this. And uh, again, uh, you know, so uh, one, of, one of the fears I have is that um, these might be a little bit too tight and actually stick and hold the button depressed uh, too long. So long story short, we now have this together. Um, again, I might remix this and change this to you, you know, just use some uh, self-tapping screws like I did on the inside. But pretty much this is now assembled. So the only other piece we need to do is really place the uh, feet on it. So again, I'm going to jump to a little bit of a time lapse as I put, put these on so you don't have to be bored watching me. Um, these don't look like they have much of a recess. So I might have to go with a little bit longer bolt, but we'll I'll let you know after the the time lapse. Okay, so as you hear it worked, we powered it with this USB power bank. 
um, so that fired up nice. Had a little bit of trouble with the base. I took and had to heat it up and bend it back a little bit more because it kept wanting to probably saw a tip up. It still does kind of want to tip up now. Um, but outside of that, it, sounds, it seems like, the, well, there's a little bit of turn here, but that's... Um, Again, I ended up using, basically across the board, some M3, 10mm M3s. You could probably, you could use some 10mm M4s. It's probably more so what it's designed for because uh, the bolt, the, uh, sorry, not bolt, but nut openings are a little bit small. Um, everything seems to work on it, so I'm, I'm rather happy with the build. I haven't quite figured out how all the buttons work, how you turn up and down the volume, but... Um, I think it's just a matter of going and looking at the uh, listing for the board. Uh, it does have uh, some sort of headphone out here, so that's another cool piece with this design. So I think there's a lot of cool pieces with this. Um, I think the other piece that you could do is minus this audio board, make yourself some your own unique uh, computer speakers because, again, um, and again, I have a link for these below. I bought, they were super cheap, these full range speakers. Now, the important thing to understand, these are full range speakers, so you, you don't need a mid-range and a tweeter. It produces the full spectrum of sound out of these, so you only need the one speaker. So it really simplifies things. So I think um, I, I'd probably remix this bass a little bit, but utilize this piece and this piece, because this is really cool, and you could do up some really cool speakers. Um, and especially if you did some polishing of this to get rid of some of the... the, the um, layering artifacting this would really be a cool um, design so I, I'm definitely giving this a thumbs up so if you found this interesting again I'll have a link to this below as well as the link to the parts on eBay they're super cheap they do take a, a little while to come from China but this is really a fun project this is also would be you know and I don't want to encroach on you know the gentleman who designed this but I mean you know from a personal aspect if you wanted to uh, make a gift and give it to someone this would be really really cool because again you could power it from your computer you put in the SD card and it plays the music and this is just really nifty and it's a great conversation piece too I think anyway and that's what I'm going to use it for is on my desk as a conversation piece I am going to probably redo this so this is a little bit nicer looking but outside of that again thumbs up subscribe button coming over there don't forget links below and hey we'll see you in the next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects